Hi everyone, welcome to GetMeCoding.com. I'm Mr. Fred and I want to say Happy New Year, Happy 2018 to everybody out there and thank you very much for the past part of this last year for coming out and supporting me at GetMeCoding.com and following us and interacting with us and or me. Thank you very much. So here we are and it's kind of like the uh, doldrums. It's that time of the year where it feels like there's really not a lot going on after all the celebrating is over and so on. So if you just came out of that great gift giving season, um, Christmas or uh, Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or anything that you celebrate, you probably got some gifts for your children or some toys for yourself. Now, if you're um, like my household, I decided to uh, see what one of these would be. This is a BB-8. BB-8 is one of the great new characters in the Star Wars franchise, the Star Wars trilogies and uh, his head comes off. This is a Sphero BB-8 and it actually comes with a base that you place it on and you charge it with your USB cable. You can connect it to your PC or if you have a, uh, an AC power adapter you can kind of just plug it into the wall and, and charge them up. Now why am I talking about this and what does it have to do with coding? Good question. Now first of all this is not mine. This is um, contrary to what everybody thinks uh, this is a gift for my daughter. My daughter's in high school, and she's a junior, and she um, she has a lot of different interests. But I thought, you know what, why not get her something that might spark her curiosity, or at least kind of maybe expose her to something different than what she's really into, which is fine. But I thought, boy, this is a fun toy. She's a fan of Star Wars, and let's see what it's about. Now, one of the reasons why I, I chose this particular guy was that it also allows you to code him. Now, in a second here, uh, we're gonna cut over and show you what the app is like that comes with the Sphero BB-8. And then, I'm gonna take you out to the other side, which I think is the really, 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 really cool part, and that's how to personally code it to do what you want it to do, not just what's in the app. When you come into the app here, you can see that there's a connection and you have options to drive the BB-8. You can scroll down and you could take a look at also creating a holographic message. And you could patrol on its own. You could actually draw a path and help BB-8 to follow it. Even watch a Star Wars movie with BB-8. There's also the force band connection and other settings, but I won't go into details in those here now. But you could see that there's a lot of fun you could have just with the app itself. Okay, so here we go. We got BB-8 on the table and... We're going to hopefully see how he operates, but what I did here, um, if you look at the, uh, this is the app that we that we loaded up a second ago, and you got BBA doing these things, so I'm going to say drive, and the app is really, really, really nice. Um, so what you have now is you can, you can control them. And you could drive them around. So you could do things like that, right? Now also in here, as you cycle through this window, you can have them make different sounds. And of course, you can make them dart away. Now, hopefully he won't go off the table. Where'd he go? There he goes. <laughs> He's all the way over there, and he's coming back. So this is a this is a real finite set of moves using the app that go. Oh, there he goes! <laughs> using the app that um, that came with the uh, the actual BB-8. But there's more. Okay, so it's a lot of fun, and you can see that uh, the app is really, really well done. And if you're a young person or an adult and you like Star Wars, you could have a lot of fun with it, especially the holographic images. You could send your own little messages and so on, but you could drive your BB-8 around just like a remote control car. Now, all of that's already, it comes preloaded. It's pre-coded, right, into the app. Now, the thing that I really love about the Sphero BB-8, and I love about Sphero in general, is that they allow you to code your device the way you want it. So this is the BB-8. There's a couple other products that are out there. And actually this past year, there's also an R2-D2. 
uh, which is pretty cool. But the um, what you could do now is I'm going to show you the app. There's two paths you can go down here and I'm going to show you the way to do it on the Droid, an Android device. You could download the app and then actually you can code it. So if you've followed any of the tutorials that I have out at getmecoding.com utilizing Scratch and the block program concept, it fits right in. So the block coding concept is not going away, but it reinforces all the great cool stuff about learning how to code. So uh, take a look at these uh, couple of apps and I'll show you how, that you, how you can real quickly and easily build this out. Okay, so now here we're in the app for Sphero EDU, which is the new app. Um, it, it is a great community that Sphero has created here, and you can come in, and once you've connected to your device, um, you can see that you could actually switch diff to different devices. If you want to switch different robots, here are all the robots that you have access to, and these are all offered by Sphero, and of course there's the BB-8, and the new one this year was the R2-D2, which is pretty cool. So we come back out now, but you can also see down here in the bottom, if you click on the programs tool, I, I threw together a couple different programs, but you click the add, and it wants you to give it a name, we'll call it uh, program one, and if you want to draw, and then generate code or just draw and, and let the BB-8 follow it, you could do that. If you want to use block programming, you can do that. Or you can just jump right to using, uh, if you're familiar with writing code, you could actually generate the text code. Okay, so we have um, a, uh, we're going to use the block. I'm going to show you what happens when you do the block coding there. You can actually then click create. And now it's going to put you over here into the developer's uh, canvas. And you can see now it, it's giving you uh, a starting point, but a very little starting point. If you go down in the community there, you could actually download programs that were already pre-made, and you could add to them, edit them, take stuff out of it, uh, kind of develop your own thing. Now, down here at the bottom, you can see you have options. You have uh, movement, lights and sound, and controls, and so on. Okay, so when you come into the app here, you could see um, you could store your own programs, but you could also go out to programs that have been created by the Sphero developers. And then there's also a community section that once it loads up, you could see that you can choose whether or not whatever you create to share it to the community. And there's there's a lot of different kinds out here, and they're rated. As you could see, there's some that are um, you know rated very high, and some are still being explored. So if you go to the Sphero community, what I wanted to show you a great way to learn. How to code is to see other people's coding, and then you kind of reverse engineer it, or you break it down and, and look at it and, and break it or add to it and, and so on. So if I click on this block canvas here, you'll see that there's a series of blocks here, and the blocks are color coded. And then down here at the bottom, you could see that there's a movement set of options, lights and sounds and controls and so on. And when you when you do uh, enter those, they give you different options. So now. Um, if you want to edit any of these blocks, if you click on it, of course here I could change the color, and that looks fine. Okay, and that looks fine. Now, the, what I was saying before was, as you build your code out, you could stack the blocks together, so you could see that you have a um, a roll block here, and you can move them around, and if you want, you could actually drag them off and and you know um, trash the the line of code. But when you look at this upper right hand menu item here, you can see you have access to some other things here, some sensor data you can look at. That's pretty neat. Um, oh, we don't have that actually running in there. But if you click on this and click on the JavaScript code, you can see that the code that this particular program has generated. So when you add a block to that canvas screen there, it's generating these lines of code. Now, if you understand what the blocks do, you can come over here into the JavaScript code, and you could actually make edits in here, and you can you know change numbers and values and so on. So, whether you're drawing um, with the with the uh, uh, line tool, just you know on the screen and letting the BB-8 roll around it that will generate JavaScript code if you stack your blocks in here that will generate JavaScript code and this can really really get um, to become a very powerful powerful little programming environment for you because all these options at the bottom here you could add logic you could do a lot of things and if you read the blog post out there I kinda go into a little bit more detail also out there alright so there you have it you have uh, the BB-8 you have the app that comes with the BB-8 you have also now some options to go and download some software development kits, some SDKs that'll allow you to do some block coding and actually 
translates it into JavaScript, which is a scripting language, very, very tightly, tightly combined with programming logic. So you get a lot in there and you could actually take this BB-8 and make it do anything that you want, uh, you know, just about anything you want and have a lot of fun doing it. So you could uh, have your own little Star Wars adventure, I suppose, but ultimately you're learning how to code. Now, if you want to know more about this, I do have a free download. You can go and grab, you could sign up, take it, use it. It gives you all the steps uh, that I kind of outlined here and a few more that you might find helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Uh, I'm Mr. Fred at GetMeCoding.com, and I really can't wait to hear about the adventures that you take your BB-8 or your Spiro devices or any of your programmable droids around the world or robots uh, around the world. Now, other cool stuff's coming up here in the future, and stay tuned. Make sure you share this out with everybody, and have an awesome, awesome 2018.